Hello, and welcome to Cardinal Sins. Thief 2 fan mission by Ripped Freak. The Hammerite Imperium was once a great centre of learning, arts, and culture. It also ruled the continent with an iron fist, bringing all nations under its dominion with conquest, plunder, and slavery. The Emperor ruled from the Great Basilica in Semira, and the crown of St. Alexius was the sacred symbol of his authority. Nearly 200 years ago, the crown disappeared in the night. The Imperium soon collapsed in civil war as each faction accused the others of keeping the crown in order to seat a new Emperor of their own choosing. A month ago, the crown reappeared in Simura. The Council of Cardinals is gathering to choose a new hierarch to lead the entire Hammerite Order. The leading candidate is Cardinal Proyas, a strict hardliner with a dark reputation. His rise through the ranks was accompanied by the convenient disappearance of several enemies. Rumour has it that if Proyas is named hierarch, he will don the crown and assume the title of Emperor as well. If he can reinvigorate the Hammerite's faith and fanaticism, the Imperium will be reborn and blood will run in the streets. A thief like you is unlikely to thrive under a harsh new imperial regime, not to mention the inconveniences that come with war. You need to stop this guy. If the crown of St. Alexius disappears again, that should keep Cardinal Proyas from doing too much damage. The decision of the council will be made this evening, so you can't wait for nightfall. No one is being allowed into the temple district until a new hierarch is chosen, but you should be able to find a way in through the sewers. A gang of thieves known as Silda's Scroungers, led by Scarlet Silda, hides in the sewers and claims this territory. You'll want to avoid them. Alright. I was all prepared to go to Notepad. The, as I looked at the game files, you know, just taking a very quick look and seeing, okay, there's no briefing movie. Uh, I prepared everything in Notepad. I was not expecting this mission to use the briefing books uh, as an option. I. I think that's the first time I've seen it actually used in anger. Uh, in an actual shipping mission. Um, but yeah, in any movie you can have a you can have just a plain old book instead of a movie. Um, for a thief mission, which uh, in that case was uh, great. All right, we've got to steal a crown and pick up a bunch of extra loot and return to the basement where we started the mission. But let's see if we put the difficulty up. Yeah, while you're in the area, Alan Rolfson, owner of the Oldie Warehousey Pub. Has a valuable statue known as the Weeping Widow. Make it yours. Mm, don't confuse it with the Weeping Angel statues. Avoid them. Angering the entire Hamrite Church is bad enough. You don't need to make any more trouble for yourself. Kill no one. Once you've completed your other task, return to the basement. What if we go up to Expert? Punish the Hammers. Yes, we're doing Expert. Punish the Hammers for making you do all this work. Take their scepter of the first hierarch from its display on the main altar. Kill no one, and no one can know, e know you are e ever here. No knockouts. Bonus. Okay, well, that's a slight... No knockouts is not quite what that implies. If I just run away and hide until they forget I was here, then technically I'm still doing no knockouts and qualify for the bonus, right? I guess we'll find out. It's taking a while to load. Must have a lot of uh, custom textures. All right, and we have a shop. Brilliant. We have two separate lockpicks uh, in our inventory here. Instead of the double lockpick item, which I guess it doesn't matter. The double lockpick item just makes it more compact. Uh, frog beast eggs. Is this post metal age then? Otherwise, why would we have frog beast eggs? We've got flash bombs, we've got gathering orbs. Yeah, it must be post metal age. A slow fall potion. Slow fall potions are really good. What about these water arrows? Why do they look black? It looks like a charcoal arrow. Yeah. I guess this is using like uh, one of the enhancement enhancement pack objects or something. I don't know. Not to my taste, but whatever. But not for the healing potion. Ah, oh, whatever. Um, 400 left. You know what? I'm gonna grab the slow fall potion. Not gonna do a scouting. Scouting ops are fine. 
Probably steaks are fun, are great, I love them, but I'm not going to spend money on them, I don't think. I'm not going to go around trying to explode people. Let alone explode my baby frogs. Flash bombs are very good. I can afford one flash bomb. I have two moss. I guess we'll top up with another water arrow then. Yeah. So full potions and speed potions are both super good for getting places you shouldn't be able to get. Like speed potions for leaping longer distances or going uh, up upriver against a strong current, things like that. Obviously rope arrow is great for going places. Slow fall potion for drop, making a long drop and then just arresting your fall just before you hit the ground is super good as well. And I'm sure I'm going to need the healing potions just from the times that I take fall damage where I wasn't planning to use the slow fall potion. You know, where it misjudged the distance or whatever. Alright, let's go. Let's check our map. Okay, we do not have a map showing where we are, right? We're in some kind of sewer or or maintenance, or maintenance or works kind of area. But we do have a map of the entire place here. I wonder how many water arrows it would take to put out the eternal flame. Well, Oh, there is another one there. So I couldn't even—I couldn't even see that lighting up. I don't—I don't know what's up with that object, but it looked. I guess that's because it was in the uh, in the light part of the bath, which is very, it's very, very bright here. Um, if it had been in the shadow part, I would have seen light up. Well, the taps don't work. And yeah, this is using super high red textures. Like, look at this, look at this metal on the edge here. Tiny, 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 it's all along. Yeah, whatever. It's not an aesthetic I like, but it's fine. It's, I'm not the author of the mission, I don't get to choose. <laughs> I get to, I get to pick the aesthetics I want when I'm making the missions. Will be one of Silda's ganger, I guess. So which way are we actually heading? We're kind of heading west right now. Hmm. My guess is we're most likely going to be coming up in the cells, the crypt, or the baths, right? That's underground places with most likely to have connections to. Uh... To the sewers, alright. Now I kinda wanna look at it, splash around in the sewer water and see if there's anything there, but I also kinda don't want to. Alright, well, we've got another archer. I kinda don't want to because, um. Well, it's noisy, it's, it's gross water. Doesn't feel like a, you know, promising course of action, honestly. So that's how you do a leap, that's it, and keep it quiet. So you have to judge the distance to the edge very accurately. Wow, there's lots of them around here. Is that a control box I can use? See, I'm terrible at judging the distances to distant carpets I'm trying to leap at, but I'm decent at judging the distance to an edge that I want to jump onto and make no noise. Ah. I am bad at... Accidentally trying to press A and accidentally pressing, I don't know what I did. My fingers, I took my hand off the keyboard and was completely misaligned. And then, uh, oh wow, I can't actually get up there, can I? And then ended up, I was trying to go 
place and went forwards. I don't know. I don't know exactly what my uh, wrong key press was there. It just took me by surprise and fell in the water and woke every and alerted everybody. Seeing a little mark on the no, that's just the text from seeing. Okay. The problem is getting up there, right? Can it? Is it possible when I do the high splash out of the water? No. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Well, I'll just try and find a ladder then. Well, I know there's one back here, so. Is this the one down this passage or not? Something's wrong. Yes. You know Shit, we lifted another one. At least we can get out here. Splashy noises. I mean, come on, it's a sewer. It's Splashy noises all the time. You should not be uh, finding that suspicious. That actually makes me wonder, would it be possible to... Like, the noises that Garrett makes when splashing, I think are pretty much um, mostly hard-coded. I don't think they're easily uh, customizable. Come on, come on, Garrett, get off the ladder. <laughs> What am I stuck on? Hello? There's a note under this rock. She suspects about the extra shinies we got from the Darkmoor place. A shame we can't pawn them off quietly while the upper city is close to us. But fear not, I've stashed all three down here in places she'll not look. She's not fond of heights and is no great acrobat. Okay. Stored in high places. Down here. Well, I'm not getting out that out that door. I'm gonna count to three, so you better. Come out! One, two, he saw me. friend I knew was coming around, so I had to get out of that particular patch of shadow. Has he given up searching then? So I wasn't prepared for quite how suddenly exposed I would be in front of that torch as I was crouching in front of it. it much, I thought I'd just like be lit up a little bit, but suddenly I was like lit up right as day, and, and that's like, even though I was only in his peripheral vision, it was like more than enough for him to see me. High places I need to be looking in, right? Not low places. Three pieces of loot stashed away in the high places somewhere. And I don't like that you've got a fucking horrible looking enhancement pack by Gem in the mission. Well. 
So that's not merely aesthetics, that affects gameplay. How well lit am I here? I have no idea. Because I cannot read this one compared to the stock one. I've accidentally gone over the top. Okay. I, can, I can actually squeeze in there, but I just kind of misaligned a little. Any of these people got anything behind them beside the bed? Probably not, right? Probably just the one. Sandbags. Ooh. Nice valuable plates. What about the heights? Thorax <laughs> head. Nothing up here. Big vase. Explodey barrels. Not things I'm going to need. I mean, there's a crate if I need it to get somewhere, but I guess I can remember where it is if I need to come grab it. So I haven't been out there either. Uh, so I should really make a map of this place, right? Roughly speaking. So we've got a big segment here, which is with the pump, right? The the the. There's a pump box, control box. We got a sewer running down here. And we got a sewer running across here. And we got a sewer running across here. And we got a sewer running down here as well. And so here is the storeroom, which has a crate. Uh, we've got sewer running across here as well. And I guess across here. Just down here. No, right, that's not a sewer passage. Yeah, something else super bright. Okay, so we've got some metal door there. Here we have metal bridge. So there's a room here, I don't know. There's a room here, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything up here. We do have an archer here. We have a sword guy here. We have a sword guy here. Okay. Can I even try going up that ladder there? This is not where I started. Oh yeah, that's where I came in. Okay. Let's get out of this bright light. And there's nothing down here that we need. Right. Wait for Metal Bridge Man to walk past, I think. Oh, wait for both of them, I suppose. Decent timing. So bright down here, super bright. All right, I do not want to go out along that bridge just yet. Is 
There's a note here. Looks like the hamheads are on high alert this week, and the blue coats are fapping about up top two. Last thing we need is for someone to get caught crawling out of a manhole and bring the heat down here. Nobody goes up top until I say so. I took away the ladders to the upper sewers, and nobody gets ideas. And if you want to try sneaking in through the water, the gear that opens the gate is locked up in Chansey's workshop, and that's where she'll stay. I see, that's all. So this is where I fill in, so I know this place vaguely. Okay. So... We have a locked door, let's just mark it with K. We have, is this a workshop? I think. Here we also have uh, another metal bridge. Coming down here. And across there. Look, we'll mark it with a double line for metal, right? And get rid of that thing. There we go. Beautiful map making. Absolutely gorgeous map making. Garrett, you're a natural. Should have been a cartographer. And given how little you speak, you probably would have been the silent, the silent cartographer, but that's an entirely different game series. And in fact, I don't know how much that level actually has to do with cartography at all. I don't I only know the level by reputation, more or less. Well, he might actually see me as he turns the corner, that's a problem. If I, especially if I move up to the lights, okay. anything we need here. See, there might be a maybe that opens. Even if it doesn't, we have a uh, place we can sit up here a little bit safer, a little in the dark. It's gonna be noisy still, but don't know how noisy. I'm gonna have to wait till he moves on and find out. But if that vent opens, that would lead straight into the workshop. These are quiet and metal. Well, good work, Garrett. I see, it's kind of a little the slope side, it's hard to walk on. There's a toolbox over there. Oh, that will be one of the hidden pieces of loot. Right. Is it a toolbox? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to leave it open. Mark that I've been there. Right. It's one of three. Awesome. No, nope, Garrett, stay on top of the damn pipe. Don't know how loud this is. Honestly. Ah, uh, this problem is that the jumping, if, if you jump, if you hit the, if I try to jump across and I hit the slope side, I just don't get to jump because of the way the jumping works in this game. Uh, these aren't brushwork, not, um, not objects, so they're not actually flat on top. It's 
I wonder if I'm going there, but I want to wait till this guy's coming and gone. I don't want him walking around the corner while I'm standing on the pipes there. And I also don't know how how reliable that's going to be, given again the slope sides of the pipe make climbing hard. We'll see how we go. completely did not mantle, even though I was holding mantle and running up against something. Might have to just jump it. Alright. I shouldn't say it's come to this, but you know, I'm more likely to say it's come to this than something dying, because this is just super awkward. And maybe it's just a dead end anyway, but it doesn't look like it. It's just it's just super awkward. Okay. Save here. Okay, this had a bigger hitbox than I thought it would. Yes, it's absolutely going to get us in the workshop. Oh, that's maybe this one as well. Ah, okay, that's... Oh, it's a separate... It's a separate locked room. Oops, I did not mean to prop stuff through the top of the crate, but uh, hey, this is their loot room. Let's have less light in here for sure. <laughs> you know you can't hide forever. It's not very good for walking on. Hello, is that somebody down there? Too many damn rats around here. It is indeed somebody down here. Is this one of the three or not? This one's not really high up, but maybe acrobatics? Maybe since this is just a general loot storage, <laughs> is just. I'm not counting that as one of the three until I've exhausted all other options, right? So this is going to be the workshop, and we've got a key. Now I know someone walks right past this door, and they can see right through this door, right? Almost certainly. Standard behaviour is that they can. I don't know if it's been changed that they'll only be looking through polygons, but... Something. That's fine, you saw nothing. Something's going down. God damn it. Come on out, and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. I heard that. Come out here. That's the gear we need. <laughs> nothing up here. So does the workshop key open this door or not? It does. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's workshop and loot. This is workshop. And this is loot store. Loot and crates. Crates. Loot. 
I guess I've got, whoops, got the key. I didn't mean to de demolish that whole line. All right. Kate's crates. Crates loot. Got a door here, right? D. D. We've got a door here. And a door here as well. Into that storeroom. Fortunately, we have uh, alerted these people to my presence, which is less cool. We know one of those doors is the better way out. And this one has fewer people patrolling in front of it. Let's actually go out this way. Also a door here. Not locked, okay. I'd like to peek in, but there's everyone walking around here. Looking my direction. So I guess we're gonna need the gear for this stuff. I don't know, for something. Right, I am. This is great. I don't have an escape plan. I oh. spotted him. <laughs> Here, I have a friend. Got him. <laughs> Shit. to the bloody guards up here. Well, <clears throat> I guess we've discovered there's more sewers than I was expecting. So, two upper sewers, it's up, it's, it's up here, right? <laughs> I don't have that place properly on my map yet, but... Hey, we come out, come out in the upper sewers, let's map the upper sewers. We start with the... Uh, a door here, and a door here. And this way is to... Lower sewers. All right, these guys calm down yet? I kind of want to see where they're where the patrol. Of course, one of them might just come down here and walk across this bridge and. Harsh my vibe rather a lot. I'll have to make a dash forward if that's the case. He's still he's still looking for something. You know what? No, you. I was about to go check the door, but I think he might turn the corner any second. Yeah, he's still trying to come around the corner. Be a little bit patient. You calm down soon. People walking by on the street above. 
Oh no, he's still kind of stuck there. Alright, this is also to the lower series, is it? So it is. Don't see anything stashed up there for the uh, high up loot. Okay, this is a way. This lets me drag in to the lower source. It's no good, generally speaking. Um, but I'm not finished in the lower source, so sure, let's uh, try not to kill ourselves. Okay. I think he saw me. Yeah. Completely misjudged that jump. That's no, not getting us anywhere. Thought I saw a ring in the water. No, it's just this light bit on the texture. Straight back in here. I know this room. I mean, I kind of know it. I didn't spend much time in it. Got two arches in here. Maybe I should have knocked these guys out, honestly. I mean, we still have a... Don't knock anyone out. Okay, this one says don't knock anyone out. This is just clearer. Uh... Not, not the whole, no one will ever know you've been here, which is, you know... Oh, hello, there's a bloody passageway up there, too. I want to move on, but I don't... Alright, I can sit here in the doorway and have it... Still noisy, but slightly less noisy. I don't have the water noise. Slightly better on my ears. Hmm. Getting up there is possible, I think. Not sure how easy it's going to be. Okay, you're the one whose arrow I took already. Here comes the other guy. Right in this room. I wish I could turn the lights up or see more patches of shadow. I just can't see any other patches of shadow anyway. There is a big control box there that looks like lights, but does it work? I don't know. I don't know if this is a mission where they decide control boxes are not are usable or not. Well, it's usable. It doesn't turn the lights off. It does turn the noise off. So it's at least pleasant, pleasanter on my ears. gives me a better place to scout from. But I need to go to the right. I need to go back to where these guys are coming from. I, need to... I guess I can get up, try and get up on these pipes somehow. How do you get on that pipe? I guess leap over from that? It's pretty dang awkward, especially with two of them wandering about. dark at all. I'm not sure what I'm being lit by there, but not lighting me here, so I guess it's okay. Must be those lights under the walkway there. Okay, they're both in the room at the same time, that's ideal for me. Not in terms of grabbing spare arrows, but in terms of having them facing away from me while I'm doing shenanigans. I don't know if this is going to be blocking vision or not, it should, but you can never quite tell when the... 
when our mission is being set up accordingly or not. <laughs> right, this is cool. Again, I don't know if they're going to block vision or not, so if it's light... Well, it doesn't block light, so it probably doesn't block vision. And that's all of it. How do I get down? How do I not be seen? What's going on? I'm gonna count to three, on so you better come out. One, two, I promise I'll take care of you quickly. Why is it so incredibly bright up here sometimes? It's bizarre. Ah, now I gotta wait for him to calm down again. This is... okay. This is... this is annoying. Like, annoyingly vague. Should have put the lights... Make it clear that it's dark up here or not, but this weird... Standing over there, I'm suddenly ridiculously fully, you know, absolutely 100% bright, brightly lit. Here, I'm in the darkness. This is... You know. it's, it's really fun to have this kind of setup, but it's very weird to have it. Mm. Very frustrating to have it be so uh, unpredictable. I don't know exactly when I want them to be moving for me to... I guess I want them both to be coming through back through this way at the same time. Where's the other guy? I just saw him for a fraction of a second there. Dang it, I don't know where he's gone. All right, he goes in the big room and around. I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to try, try going now. Who are you? Get out of here! Well, that didn't work, did it? Come on out. Is there anyone up here that's dark? Yeah. Yes, weirdly there is. One, two. Get up, damn it. Fully bright and fully lit. Okay, we are. They can't get over, they can't get over this side, so I think I'm fine. I think I'm safe from them. Um, here we have the waterfall. As well, so I've been in there. I guess I don't need to go back in there. We just sit here and wait for everyone to calm down. And we have an escape route now through the water if we really need it. One, two. Why? Well, fell in the water of his own accord. That's not my fault. Don't blame me for that. Where's that, where's that game running off to? Yeah, I don't know if he had anything on his... Is, is he the one... Who's, who's the one with the arrow? He must have heard the cries... The, 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 the sound... Taking damage sounds and coming looking for that. Okay, he's the one with the out arrow. So it's not a pocket Stay I have alert. to pick. Something's going on. Yeah, one of you stupid dappers just wandered into the sewer water. I'm surprised, I'm surprised, oh god, even that guy, everyone's alerted now. Stay. I'm gonna 
the count to three, so you better come out. One, two, gotcha now. Uh. Shit. Ow. He turned, he turned around and he did a sudden 180 when I was trying to just be clever and pick his pocket. <laughs> and so, and not surprising, he saw me at that range. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. Somehow I didn't run when I did that jump. Alright, whatever. Go back to your, go back to your patrols. Everybody calm down. Yep. Friend here has washed. Oh, he's washed downstream. Of course, the other guy must have seen the body. I don't know. Alright, well, there's a built. There's room in here. I need to get into. There's also that guy with an arrow. I'm gonna have to go back out that way. So, I guess we can leave him. This guy with the sword was the guy who hangs out in this room. I think. Okay, okay, I'm running. Or well, maybe that's him. Hmm. That might be him. What? what the hell? Who? Who? Who are you? And how do you think you heard me? I don't know, but we can we can drop down in here and get across the ladder and stuff, but there's not many places to hide in here either. Still have two more of these pieces of loot to find as well. If we're really being thorough. I'm not kidding. Come on out. If he's coming around this side, he's probably gonna notice me here, which I don't love. Well, I'm gonna take the risk because if he doesn't notice me here, I mean, if he does, I'm gonna jump in the water, right? Scared, huh? I'm gonna rob oh, you of your organs, fine. Tapper boy. Why don't you just come on out? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Well, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Good thing I've got more chocolate. He's finished. I'm not kidding. Come on out. Oh. They don't both walk through here, right? I know this guy does. But another guy, I think, was the guy who came walking around here, so I'm now... I'm a little confused as to what I should expect in terms of guards. Another note by that door. Yeah, I guess they do both walk through here. So where does this guy go, then? Does he just walk around and around the room? Is that it? Is he actually just patrolling this room? In which case, this is a very... That's the guy I saw going in and out. Oh, okay, he goes out of the room as well. Right, very bad timing for me, because there's just nowhere in this room to hide except on these ladders. I could sit on top of the crates and taunt them, but that's not exactly uh, a strategy. And let me manage them properly. So where's the second guy now? There, okay, he comes in the corner. But this guy's gonna go out and come straight back in there. This is very bad timing for me to move. So wait some more. I'm not exactly sure what good timing will look like, but this is not it. Yeah, because there he comes back in again.
least this, I can look and see. Okay, we've got another door there. Okay. Ba bad ladders that you can't climb onto. So. Well, I guess the good news is I've messed up the patrols and maybe they'll sync up better this time? I don't know. Maybe they'll sync up worse. Side. How do you know that guy? The other guy's right there. No, the other guy's right there. Shit, I'm gonna have to jump in the water here. What's going on? What's going on is there's nowhere to fucking hide in this damn room. I'll eventually find you, so why don't you just come on out? And there's two guys patrolling in opposite directions. It's just like made this room like about as hostile as possible to be if you're not knocking people out. It's not really fun. Great way to start the mission with a room that's really unfun. Like I can't even hide at ground level waiting for these guys to go past and have a place I can move to because the only place I can, get, I can hide is the tiny shed at the top of these ladders and that's not enough to hide in as they walk past they see you there because they're, they're close enough and they're sh sharp enough when, once they've been alerted and I can't silently climb onto these ladders because they don't go up high enough so the physics doesn't let me do it it is <laughs> fucking annoying Look, well there's that guy back again I, mean, I can jump from one side to the other. But that doesn't really help me. <sighs> oh, of course, it's a big, long, complicated lock as well. Thanks. Thanks so much for the freak. Loving your level already. 100% brightness in front of the door. Okay, this is going to be the boss lady, right? Okay, there is a place to hide there, apparently, up in those crates. You would never know until you're there. Doesn't look like a destination to move to. So I did not... It looked like, from where I was, it looked like these crates were piled up against the walls. It did not look like there was anywhere to hide there. So it was not looking like a positive place to go exploring. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I can't actually hide here. Can't even. Even this one's not. God damn it. Even this is not out of the light. Which means they will see me up here if they're walking around the corners at the right angles. You might not see me here, this might be high enough. I'm just gonna hope it is. Mm. Oh, that might be high enough for the other guy. Oh, great. Can't even mantle it without making noise. In other words, try to stick your nose in here, it gets cut off. The boss. <sighs> Darkness here is weird. Then again, I don't know exactly how bright it is, because again, I can't read this silly enhancement pack like meter, but. 
So that's the boss, I'm guessing, wandering around there. Pirate flag got up in pirate gear like she's some kind of pirate. She looks like a mostly get up. Flash bombs, flash bombs are appreciated. More rip arrows are fine as, as well. <clears throat> she has a workshop key as well. There's no shadows in this room at all. Wait, there's a shadow behind the couch. I'm guessing that's gonna lead out onto the streets. Wait, the darkness does not read. Like, the difference in brightness here is it's not reading right to me, but... chest there I should look at. Maybe some plans on the walls that I should look at. Harrogate Public Museum. Floor plan. Uh, and a map of Baffins. And a map of... Uh, I don't know where that one is. Looks familiar though. This is a lot of places they're planning to rob. I really like the idea of taking maps from other missions and putting them into uh, the, the boss of the game of the thieves layer. That's a really nice touch. In the, in the screenshot afterwards to see where they're from. For my own curiosity, I probably wouldn't recognize most of them anyway. It's kind of annoying, I can't get around the, this. I've got to jump to get out of here. I can mess Weird, but I can, okay. So if she goes through to the room on the right, then I move into there. If she comes in here, then I don't know where I'm going. That's not a damn... I saw the flickering and thought there was a torch that I would be able to put out, but no. Okay, I guess I'm sitting here and waiting for the...
back row. Is that all? What's she doing when she's hanging around in this room? <laughs> Nothing in here? Lady. You have a very suspicious painting there. With some rather strategically placed uh, grapes. Is that a secret passage or just a painting you like? How am I supposed to tell the difference? I guess I look for a lever. Nothing down beside the bed. I guess I do know where my way is. My I was just more than sure my moment there. Can't see any sign of a lever, so I'm going to assume it's just fancy painting. Okay, this is my moment. So I think we're done in here. Need to not be seen by the guys wandering around this, so that's just luck. Coming through here, they don't see us through the door. We cannot hide in those crates, so everything I said about it being a bad place to hide, I mean, we can sort of hide, but it's not, it's not very safe. It's safer just to wait till we, there's a gap in the guards and I can go out one of the side doors. And it does sound like they're both here at the same time, so this is probably good timing. The thing about super, super bright areas is it, like, easily triggers peripheral vision. It's it's really hostile thing to do as a mapper. Um, even if even if you think you're providing uh, safety, it's because it's so much harder to sneak by. Um, you have no you have no grey areas to to uh, really lean into. So you're really having to go. Back to good old binary. Is someone there or is there not? Wait just for a big solid gap. Okay. However, let's review. So this is the boss. Um, this is the bad... The... No good... Terrible, very bad, no hiding place room. Never mind the sword. And the boss is up there. There's a passage in there. There's a passage here. Oops, I guess I should mark that like that. And I'm, if I'm being consistent, so we have a... Here I go like this. This one's gonna be awkward. Okay, and we've been in this room, so I won't be bothered. I can't be bothered mapping it out any better because I've got to economize somewhere. All right, so we need to go and look at this thing. Whoops! Did not do that as quite as I could. Right, we've got to put the gear down in there, I guess. And then we can pop this control box, I guess. And that's going to open that water gate? I don't know, maybe. maybe we don't need to do any of this. Oh, you just sit there. Looking kind of dejected. Maybe I'm reading too much into the pose. 
Hmm. Looks like a gear is missing. Yeah, that's... That's raising the gate there. Does that raise the other gates as well? There was another gate, another passage with a gate at the end of it. Was that one? No. Must have been the southern passage then. Okay, he's coming back. this passage of this door I was thinking of. Oh well. You know what? Never mind. We can just swim, right? Ah, oh, no. The, the current is way too strong. It'll take forever to swim. Well, he's given up and moving on anyway, so that's fine. Our friend's going to be coming out on the left side of the mountain there. Metal, metal walkway guy. Indeed. It's that door? Do I know that door? Or is that just into the metal walkway room? I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, this just doesn't match my... Oh no, it, it didn't match my mental map, it doesn't match my actual map. Okay, that's fine. I do know that door. So, this room... This is the only place we got to be then. Well, I guess the good news is the other guy who chose me here fell in the water, right? So we only have to worry about one of the two in there. That's going to make it easier. So I guess thanks, guys. This guy's annoying. If I step out, they're going to see me across the way here. And that's probably timing bad with this guy. Yeah, he's already coming back. No, he just left. Okay. I mean, I don't actually have to come this way. Hang on. I still haven't found the three bits of loot, right? Is one of them up there? There's like acrobatics possible to get up there. Hmm. One of them was in that big room. I don't know if one of them was in the room ahead. I'm thinking one of them might be in there. Which means wait till this guy goes back up and I can start mantling on things. It's not like I don't have vine arrows to stick to the catwalks, which would be a convenience. Oh wow, it's been uh, a little too long already. Alright, let's just try and get this and see how we go. They're not in the episode. Ten minutes past the hour. It's not watching time. Okay. <sighs> well, I don't know if that's one of the three or not. <clears throat> Ow. But it will do. Uh, Alright, 
So let's end the episode here. Thanks for watching and uh, see you shortly for the next one.